Well, my friend died this year, recently, and uh, I was sitting with him at a Columbus Blue Jackets hockey game, and I'd known him since I was 10 years old. And he had a massive heart attack two days later. His name is Steve Price. And so something occurred to me over that last several weeks. My life and the way I was living my life was really not as good as it could be and not really what it should be. And part of it was because I kind of had this bad radio station going on in my head. And if I got a bad radio station going on in my head, bad radio station is coming out of my mouth. I had real proof because my wife said to me one time, she said, you know, why don't you just end everything you say to me with dumbass at the end of it? I went, ooh, that's, ooh. Wow, what a tone that is. How fun that must be for her, as I say. Why, why did you park the car in the driveway at that angle? So I thought, I don't, I'm not liking that because she's a human being. And I reflected on how my one friend gave me, another friend gave me the Dale Carnegie book. He said, I've read it five times, it's great, read it. And one of the things he says, smile, smile all the time. And I go, I don't smile, but smile, what do you, I guess smile when I'm happy. But then I kind of started to try it and I would drive to work and I'd be in my truck and I'd be going, driving like this, just going. I just sort of started to do that. <laughs> And I didn't look in the rearview mirror at the people that were tailgating me because that took my smile away. I thought about my granddaughter, who I love, like not even of the earth. Because my tone of voice was a way that I didn't want it to be, and because I was Mr. Frowny Face, walking around all day long, I went, I'm not doing that anymore. And so I write things on my hand so I don't forget them. So I decided that I was gonna write a little tattoo on my hand every single day every single day.